Eric Erickson, Personal Development. There are eight stages. We are going to look at stages one through three. There is an advanced organizer showing you the eight stages. We'll be looking at one through three today. At each stage, there is a developmental crisis. The crisis here in stage one, infancy, is to develop security, optimism, and trust in others. And this is based on the consistency of getting one's basic needs met, love, attention, touch, and feeding relationships. If you interact with loving, reliable adults, you are more likely to be secure and trustful to others. If you interact with unreliable, apathetic adults, more likely to develop insecure or mistrusting relationships or attitudes in the future. Dispositions toward life, according to Erickson, are formed or begin to be formed here. Children whose needs are met, again, by loving adults, consistently tend to be more secure, sociable, etc. Okay? Stage two. The crisis is the development of autonomy versus shame and doubt. There's a transition from helpless infant to exercising control. These are the terrible twos where the child says no, and the child is testing the parents and the environment to develop a sense of autonomy, and this is good, all right? Child needs to develop a sense of personal autonomy. I can do it. Look at me. I can do it. Right? This is the developmental crisis. We need to enable or allow the child to have some autonomy or freedom to do this. If parents are over-controlling and do everything for the child, there can be lasting feelings of doubt over the child's personal capacity and autonomy. At this stage, we need to encourage children, give them some autonomy, allow them to experiment and some level of independence. Not push, but allow to interact with the world on his or her own pace. We need to avoid shaming. Shaming as a controlling mechanism. It's autonomy versus shame and doubt. In that same way, in that same way, we need to avoid putting adult expectations on the child. Sometimes it's the child's failure to meet adult expectations that can result in shame and doubt. Things like, big boys don't cry. Well, everyone cries, all right? Don't be such a baby. Making too many demands on children. Toddlers need this. Opportunities to perform tasks independently, messing around, eating, dressing, even if they don't do it right. This is all part of the process. We need to find tasks within their zone of proximal development, a little Vygotsky for you, that they can be successful at. Tasks that ensure success. Children also need to be rewarded and encouraged for their attempts at tasks. We need to avoid humiliation and shaming. We need to encourage initiation of things. And they need to be given the freedom to explore. Stage three. The crisis here is initiative versus guilt. The task here is to develop a sense of initiative to explore and manipulate the environment and start exploring their natural talents and range of experiences. We can encourage initiation versus setting excessive prohibitions. Right? Child can feel guilty when there are too many prohibitions put on him or her. Children need, again, acceptance and support for their exploration. Again, void shaming. And at this stage, the child is learning, is in uh, learning the social norms and the rules for behavior. We have to balance this need for initi to initiate and the expectations that we set on the child. So, this level, children need opportunities to make their own decisions. 
And the decisions can be something as simple as, would you like cornflakes or sugar smacks for breakfast? We slowly give them more and more decisions to make, but they need to begin making decisions. At this stage, they need fantasy and imagination. This allows them some freedom to explore. And as well, when they imagine, they are playing with roles that they will someday take when they're playing teacher or grown-up. That is fantasy and imagination. They're experimenting with future roles they may take. And again, we need to encourage and give them freedom to explore and experiment with their environment. All right? These are the first three stages. The stages uh, incorporated birth through early childhood up to kindergarten.